All right, here we are at our 1993 Stardust. This is a 16 by 78 foot wide body aluminum hull houseboat for sale. We're here in the beautiful fresh waters of North Lake, Tennessee. Slip is transferable. If you need a place to keep one, it can stay right here where it is currently located. This is a popular marina. It's on the Knoxville side of Norris Lake. This one is powered by twin engines. And it is a four bedroom, one and a half bath. We're here for our video walkthrough tour. As always, I remind you to visit the website for the full list of specifications and the current asking price. We never mention those in the video tours because very often the prices will change until the listing is sold. Additionally, our website is the best way to check the current status of our listings, the ones that are still available. If you take the time, if you're a serious buyer, if you're looking for something or interested in this one, if you all you gotta do is open up a new tab or web browser window, type in yournewboat.com, click enter. When you see that orange letter and you'll know you're at the right place, look for the button that says find your new boat on the top left hand corner of that page. When you click that, it's gonna load all of our inventory. They're gonna come up in order of price. You'll probably see a photo of each one. You're gonna see a photo of uh, from near from where we started on this video tour from the exterior you'll recognize the coloring on it and of course it's also going to say 1993 stardust 16 by 78 wb which stands for wide body you'll see the asking price right there and if it doesn't say sold or pending on the photo of it then you'll know it's still available and of course there'll be a link where you can click to email us you can click into a photo slideshow page which is going to have more of the specs and once you make it to that photo slideshow page on the left side of that page there's also going to be a pdf that you can print out and that's going to fit uh that's where you're also going to find even more of the uh specifications and features of this boat all right there on the pdf and of course you can contact us by phone by text or by email but we also remind you if you ever call us on the phone and get our voicemail and you would like a return call please just make sure you leave us a message please leave it if you'll leave a detailed le message let me know which listing you're looking at what questions you have uh, we're often outside of cell phone range but if you'll take the time to do that as soon as we get back in cell phone range or we finish up with the customer we'll be able to return your call and have all your questions answered you can leave those on your voicemail in case we miss you um just underneath that little canvas bag that is a 26 inch lcd television with a built-in dvd player and we're gonna step inside that sliding glass door. Show you our helm station first here on this Stardust. This was custom built at the time um, that it was built in 1993. We do have VHF radio. Of course, you've got your full engine instrumentation for both your port side and starboard side engines. Port side engines reading 539.3 hours. We'll round that, round that up. We'll call it 540 hours. And starboard side engine is showing 538.3. We'll round that up to 530 nine at the website uh, we do have a rudder in angle indicator gauge we've got a 12 volt power outlet uh, this is your fireboy automatic fire suppression system that is in the engine compartment should that ever happen that will automatically discharge and then of course you've got a toggle switch for your fuel gauge on both uh, port and starboard side engines speaking of fuel this uh, this one is equipped with a pair of 65 gallon aluminum fuel tanks Hot water heater switch is here just below your helm and that's on a light so that you'll uh, see it when it's on so that when you can leave when you leave the boat you'll easily remember to turn that switch off and not be making hot water while nobody's here using it. Additionally you want to shut off your water to the boat whenever it's being left vacant whether you're using your onboard water or marina water supply. If it's marina's water supply it's even more important to shut that off when you leave. This is a pair of uh, MMC controllers. That is an electronic shift and throttle control for each engine we do have a functional hummingbird depth finder here at your home station as well and this is a remote start for your generator 12.5 kw westerbeek generator that is showing about 3898 hours and of course your shore power transfer switch there to go from uh, shore power to generator power there is a uh, stereo head unit here at the dash but that is not functional i want to point that out so here we are in the main salon area. We do have a nice, good size sofa. We've got a lot of indirect lighting. 
a lot of that's been added ceiling fan overhead also want to point out this red chair here this red chair with the uh, lounge table or I'm sorry the red chair and ottoman is not included so just want to just want to point that out to people we try to only talk about the items that are included but often when I do know of specific exclusions I'll call those out to you as well so stepping back here we've got a 40 inch Vizio HD television that is a 1080 HD television this one is currently set up with Dish Network now typically the receivers are going to stay with the sellers uh, but there is a fixed satellite dish if you are going to be keeping it right here in this slip where it is it will be an easy plug and play to um, to reactivate that dish network with the receiver there's also wi-fi available here that's kind of a rarity among norris lake cell phone reception will vary depending on which carrier you, carrier you have but there uh, there is a decent signal here at this current location if you have the right provider and again uh, marina here um, there is also wi-fi available A few things I want to point out downstairs here while we're here. Typically, I'll do this toward the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. We've got a few um, stains and stain repairs in the ceiling. Now, these are thought to be older leaks and not currently active. However, the roof is due to be recoated. Um, currently, the seller has gel coat work scheduled to take place depending on when this is purchased. Um, you know, you can have the option of, of either changing service providers or keeping that current service provider that is scheduled and keeping the date that they have it scheduled for. So again, that kind of depends on uh, when the purchase changes hands. Uh, but this one is in need of um, some attention on the roof. You could put gel coat up there. There are, are a number of alternatives um, that you could have the option to do depending on when, when the date of, of sale takes place on this one so here in our galley kitchen we've got some updated lighting countertops we've got a dual stainless sink we've got a Kenmore dishwasher coffee maker electric oven and range that's GE we've got a Panasonic microwave and a Kenmore I believe that's about a 20 cubic feet refrigerator freezer and then just across from the galley kitchen area we do have a u-line under counter ice maker on that little bar set up over there all right we're going to continue to move down our center hallway where we will access our four different state rooms and the first one is a queen state room just up three steps to the port side of the hallway of course as usual there are some pocket doors that will separate this first bedroom from the rest of the boat that's a 12 volt ceiling fan there you've got a small hanging closet two two dresser drawers directly across from there over on the starboard side there's another pocket door it leads into our half bath area this is a jack and jill bathroom we've got uh, I believe those are galley made marine heads. I was looking for the brand on the back of there. Uh, I believe those are galley made. Those are marine heads, macerator heads. We got a small little vanity sink. We got a nice um, linen closet, built in medicine cabinet right there. And then there's going to be a pocket door on either side of this shower. So basically, you've got two heads that share a shower in the middle. That is a walk in shower. Go ahead and walk through that now. This would be the half bath that is closest to the master stateroom, although it's not directly connected. Uh, you got some more medicine cabinet storage here. There's your second marine head, and then again, that shower is set up in between the two half baths. So one and a half bath, a Jack and Jill layout, I've heard it uh, referred to as a, I believe a Hollywood bath. And then directly across from this bathroom entrance and exit on the port side you're going to go down a couple steps to our double cutty 
We've got a small little built-in office space right here or small little desk this would be our second queen size bed we've got a small emerson i believe that's a 19 inch lcd television with a built-in dvd player 12 volt fan in this uh, cutting room you basically got stand up height over here about six foot of clearance maybe a little bit more you also have a small little storage uh, our dresser drawers kind of integrated just behind those cushions that are are sitting there. You got some 12 volt lighting in here as well, and two large windows. Now, directly to the stern, we do have a curtain. Uh, this curtain can close this off. So this is what we refer to as a double cutter. You're going to go down the one set of steps, and then you've got um, two different sets of bedrooms off of that cutty. And this one, this is uh, we'll call this a crawling cutty. You can see we got a little bit less overhead clearance right as you go in and then that space opens up so you've got more ceiling height once you crawl into it it's a great place for the uh the kids actually love these currently there are two twin size beds down here so you got plenty of sleeping space and one of those these are both memory foam uh one of them is a, a much taller than the other it appears to be probably about a 10 or 12 inch thick memory foam and this is probably about a six or eight uh, but anyway, you've got a lot of space down here. So currently two twins set up down here right now um, And There's also I should also point out they put um, some hanging um, Brackets in here some hanging rods uh, Originally, this was probably intended to be a liveaboard and they actually use this as storage space and that's why they have the, um, the hanging rods in here This one appears to be equipped with insulated exterior walls. Um, now, 93 was a little bit before they really started doing insulation. Um, does have single pane windows and doors. Uh, ceiling will be insulated. And then again, appears to have insulated walls. So that, um, kind of what leads a lot, a lot of things on this boat um, really makes it appear as though that, that original owner that had it first built at the factory was uh, probably intended to be a liveaboard for the first couple years. So we've also got another pocket door right before you step into the master stateroom. I wanted to point that out. Um, this comes on down the center hallway, but you can close that door off. And then we've got a king size master bed, hanging closet and dresser drawers, and even some shelves on each side of the master bed. Ceiling fan overhead in this one. And again, that one's raised up off the floor, and that is because that's where that headroom and that cuddy came from. So that's exactly matches the ceiling of the cuddy down below, but you do have with that kind of built-in step up, you're gonna have easy, an easy time getting into both sides of this bed. It's not, you know, not just like a stool or something over there. So that's really gonna, could really be helpful to the right individual. Again, ceiling fan overhead. Um, now we've got a nice closet space right back here in the master. I also want to show you we've got a, um, I believe this is a 22 inch um, LCD television back here in the master stateroom. Room to even go bigger there if you like. So, so here's kind of your large closet area. I've already uh, left these closet doors open. We've got a full size GE washer and dryer. This is rare on a boat. Typically, you're going to get the stack units. So anytime you actually have full-size wash and dryers, people tend to really appreciate it. Almost a Florida ceiling length window there. We've got a small hatch here. That's access for the under hull storage. And then we've got a hanging closet back here as well. Two of these actually. It's a lot of storage space back here. It's more built-in dresser drawers. All right, we're gonna head out to the rear deck. I do have the engine hatch raised. I'm showing you these Mercruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder, inline four cylinder inboard, outboard stern drive engines. Uh, back in 93, these were probably rated about 120 horsepower a piece. And then we do have that 12 and a half kW Westerbeek generator in between the two. Uh, mentioned the fuel tank sizes earlier. Also should point out there are three um, plastic 85 gallon freshwater tanks and two 85 gallon plastic waste holding tanks. Here's that um, automatic fire. Oh, where is it at? It's going to call your attention to. Oh, it's on the wrong side. There's that automatic fire suppression uh, system right there. 
It's going to call your attention to that since we mentioned up there at the, at the uh, lower helm. So again, I think we referenced the uh, engine hours on all three of these when we were at that lower helm. So I'm going to go ahead and close these engine hatches now. Uh, this one, we're going to have to move some stuff around, so I'll just close it partially for now. 60, uh, I believe it's about 75 feet back here to the transom, plus three foot swim boarding platform with a integrated swim boarding ladder. It's three step fold down swim boarding ladder. We've got some rod storage overhead back here in the rear porch. Additionally, we have um, front and rear canvas enclosures on this one. So let's head on up to the rooftop. Come towards the end of this one, and then we're going to get to that area that I mentioned. This needs some attention. Um, there are some soft spots in here. There is some rot to repair, in addition to just recoating it. I um, also just point out this uh, dock storage locker that is staying on board here. Beautiful slip here at Norris Lake. We've got a Goodman. Uh, I believe this is a three-ton Goodman Central Heat and Air HVAC unit. And we're going to start to get to the end of this one. So again, if you've got questions, please open up a new tab or window. Visit our website. You'll be able to find this one there easily. Um, the flybridge has not been used in a while on this one. So it is equipped here with a um, dual helm flybridge. You do have instrumentation up here and a depth finder. Um, I'm not going to guarantee any of this works here. This is offered subject to buyer inspection. Can't tell, yeah, I can't quite tell if that depth finder came on. Uh, but again, you do have another set of MMC controls. Um, that um, fly or that steering there is probably going to need some new steering fluid at the moment. And, and we've also got a bimini top overhead of our flybridge. So, again, visit the website to contact us or for more information. This is going to wrap up the 1993 Stardust 16 by 78, four bedroom, two bath. Houseboat for sale with a transferable slip here on Norris Lake, Tennessee. Also, we've got a uh, vinyl wrap on the exterior of this one. I'll walk down this side here as we wrap up. And I thank you again for joining us. You'll see our logo pop up. That's a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already.